hi in this video i will be discussing one more example which is related with random process through lti system so the question goes like this let x of t be a wss process which is white sense stationary and with power spectral density given by sx of f now we define a new random process called y of t which is equal to x of 2t minus 1 so we wish to find out the power spectral density of it and we have to choose one of the right choice which is given here okay so the solution goes like this so let's assume that the rx of tau is the autocorrelation function of the random process and the autocorrelation function and power spectral density are related as a Fourier transform pair and hence we get rx of tau has sx of f as the Fourier transform which is power spectral density of the random process x of t now if you define the, the, the autocorrelation function of the random process is defined as rx of tau is equal to expectation of x of t into x of t plus tau so autocorrelation function of a white sense stationary random process depends only on the difference of the sampling intervals which is the important property of the white sense stationary random process and hence if you sample at t you have to sample again at either t plus tau or t minus tau now if you sample at 2t minus 1 then you have to sample the random process again at 2t minus 1 plus tau so with this in mind let us proceed to find the autocorrelation function of the random process y of t so it is defined as r y of tau equal to expectation of y of t into y of t plus tau as y of t is defined as x of 2t minus 1 so after substitution we get expectation of x of 2t minus 1 and again you have to replace t with 2t minus 1 and hence you will get x of 2t minus 1 plus 2 tau so just now we have seen that expectation of x of 2t minus 1 into x of 2t minus 1 plus tau is same as r x of tau and hence expectation of x of 2t minus 1 into x of 2t minus 1 plus 2 tau would be same as rx of 2 tau now the question is we have to find out the power spectral density of y of t which is nothing but the Fourier transform of the autocorrelation function r y of tau and hence s y of f would be Fourier transform of r y of tau and just now we have proved that r y of tau is equal to r x of 2 tau so if you take the Fourier transform of r x of 2 tau we will get 1 by 2 into sx of f by 2 so this final result we got by invoking the time scaling property of the Fourier transform 